Okay, so I want to tell a little story. This will be now my uh, second animal story after my Tiffany douchebag <laughs> about these uh, dogs I used to know. It's same family, same house. These are also like Rachel's dogs, Ashley, and when they lived in Dix Hills. And they had these two little dachshunds named Lexi and Katie, little wieners. And I thought they were like the cutest little things, right? Oh my God. Oh, little wieners! Ooh. Yeah, they're cute for about 30 seconds until you realize how much of a pain in the ass dachshunds are. I mean, small dogs are just harder to deal with than big dogs in general. But dachshunds are especially bad. They're just like really, really spiteful. You know, they bark all the time. They shit in the house because they like, refuse to be house trained. They they bite. Oh, these dogs would bite too. Thank God they were small dogs. So it wasn't a whole lot more than an annoyance. You know? It would hurt for like a second, but it was like whatever. But it was just really fucking annoying. Because I'd come in the house and the, the wieners would run up to me. And, you know, they'd start fucking nipping at my ankles and biting me and shit. They were like, ow, man, what the fuck, why are you biting me, what did I do to you? You know, like I said in my other story, you douchebag, always wanted to bite my head off, get the little wieners biting my ankles, it's like, damn, you guys got a lot of dogs that hate me, fuck, and <laughs> of course Ashley, she's like 11 at the time, and she was like a little sociopath that thought it was hysterical when people got hurt. Or people made like fools out of themselves. And she never hesitated to laugh when it would happen to me. And she'd be like, Yo, what happened with the weeders, yo? Yo, they keep fucking biting me. Why? Why are they biting you? Because they're fucking cunts. And she just laughed for crazy, hysterical hyena laugh. Like, (laughs) Like, I swear that's like really how she laughed. Basically like that. And and like I said, these little fuckers like refused to be house trained. I I guess they gave up at a certain point. So... (laughs) They would basically shit all over the house. And since there was two of them, it was double the fun. (sighs) And I always had to avoid stepping in it, which Ashley also found hysterical. Yo, yo, you almost stepped in the shit, yo. Why don't you clean it up? The fuck is wrong with you people? I know you can't stop them from pooping, but at least pick it up. But nah, nah, I would always get, like, left on the floor, like, their basement floor. I don't know if they forgot to clean it or what, but yeah, yeah. So, this one night, uh, I was sleeping over the house, like I did a lot that summer in 2003. And this was down in the basement. I would sleep on a couch in the basement. It was like one of those ranch houses, but the basement's like the first floor. So, I'm sleeping on the couch, and I get up in the morning, and I put my feet on the floor, and, like, something feels weird. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Why does it feel like something soft and squishy in my feet? And then all of a sudden, I realize, oh, fuck! Oh, I just stepped in the weeder shit! Ew, man! <coughs> And I wasn't even wearing socks. No, I stepped in that dog shit in bare feet. Bare feet. And I'm running around the house fucking like, you know, oh, I'm squealing like a fucking little girl. Like, oh my God, I can't believe I stepped in shit. Ah, And everyone's running downstairs like, yeah, hell, David, David, are you all right? What's going on? I stepped in a fucking wiener shit. What the? And I had to like run into the bathroom and like, fucking wa- wash my feet in the shower and ew and of course Ashley just fucking lost it right like I said yo David what happened 
quick. I stepped in the wiener shit. <laughs> yo, that's like the funniest thing ever, yo. I can't believe you stepped in their shit. Oh my god. Fuck my life. <laughs> Fuck your dogs, too. Oh, man. Fuck your weeders. But, uh, yeah. That was not the last time I slept over. You know, for a lot of people, they would have never got over that house ever again after that experience. But I, I, I love them. They were like my family, you know. Like my little sisters. And, and no, nah, I couldn't help it. So I still slept over, but... You better believe, from that day on, I watched where the fuck I stepped. <laughs> when I got off that couch, I look first. Yeah. So, that is the story of the uh, annoying little wieners and their shit all over the floor. <laughs> what a shit. What a fucking shit. <laughs>